Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Recently, we've been exploring the aspects of yin and yang, particularly focusing on developing a, a heightened sensitivity to yin chi or yin energy in its various manifestations. And um, this is really important for Taiji as a as as a as a study in general, because if you look at the, the the three primary internal martial arts, you have Bagua Zhang, which is it is focusing primarily on the relationship of heaven and earth and the eight directions. You have Xing Yi Chen, who which is has uh, focuses primarily on the five elements. In Taiji, there's uh, two things that really are, are we're focusing on. One is the relationship of yin and yang, and the other is shu and shur, which is uh, insubstantial and substantial. And um, and so, in 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 the sense, we're meaning is like how much stuff we talk about substantiality is how much stuff is present in a given thing. And it's always within a context. Substantiality and insubstantiality is always within a context. Like, you know, is, is what we're talking about moving toward non-being or is it moving more toward being? And there's, is there less of it or more of it? Is there, is it moving into a more abstraction or more into solidity? And so that relationship is really key to everything in Taiji. In fact, when I wrote uh, uh, Taiji Trans Through the Western Gate, you know, I made a big point how that is considered to be the defining element of Taiji Tran, you know, substantiality and insubstantiality. And it's something we deal, deal with a lot in our alchemy here because so much of what we talk about and explore is insubstantial. That is, it, it is moving more toward non-being or non-form, non uh, but it has a direct relationship on form. So let's say the more we can take something that is insubstantial, let's say chi, and the more we can concentrate it and make it substantial, then we, we are learning to, to use it in, in, in a positive direction, use it to, uh, to create good effects. So, but it goes across the board. So the learning how to, to differentiate between substantial and insubstantial is really key. But we are, primarily focusing right now on the yin and yang aspect. And so in a, in a in the broadest sense, yang is, describes those, the relationship of something that is expanding. So if something is getting bigger or stronger or is hotter, it's, it's, there's an expansion going on. Whereas yin is referring to that which is contracting or becoming moving inward or downward. So there's, we're talking about relationship. We're talking about the direction of the energy, the direction of the flow, and um, whether something is decreasing rather than increasing. Going back to substantial and insubstantial, that something can be young and substantial and young and insubstantial, depending on the context. So the two are separate ideas, although they get lumped together a lot. Um, so uh, the uh, being able to make that that distinction in your mind is, is is crucial for an advanced understanding of what Taiji Tran is about. But for right now, let's talk. Let's focus on the on the the yang and the yin, and particularly on how to get a direct experience of these energies is something we've been playing with a bit over the last few weeks. And I'd like to take it a little deeper today because it is something that it goes all the way down and all the way up. 
So it's something that is, um, you can never exhaust that, that exploration. And the deeper that you can go to the yin, the deeper you can move into that connection to that downward energy is, um, uh, it, it, it feeds the upward and expansive energy. And a lot of the focus that I've put on developing people's awareness of chi or the insubstantial aspects of Taiji Chuan, you know, it has been on more the yang part because that's something that is easier to make a note of, that is easier to, to, to say, oh yeah, yeah, that, I feel that, I feel that expansiveness, I feel the tingling, whereas it's more of a something than a nothing. So it, whenever we think of yin, and we go deeper and deeper into that, there is a moving, the yin chi particularly, is moving more and more toward that which you cannot perceive, more of a nothingness than a somethingness. And, you know, just like when we relax, you know, we, we, have, this, we have a sense of what relaxation is. And it's something we, particularly in Taiji Chuan, we've cultivated over, over decades or, or years or whatever. And, and, but what we're comparing it to is what it feels like to not be relaxed, what it feels like to be tense or to be, to, uh, to have your, uh, there's a, a contraction in your, in your muscles, but in letting go of that, we have, we say, oh, okay, I don't have that thing now, so I'm, now I'm relaxed. Learning how to go beyond that to actually feel into the yin as a thing itself is, I think, a big step. And also learning how to do it immediately, to be able to control your yin, your yang. And that is where we move into mastery, where we learn to, to develop Taiji Chuan as, a, as something that it doesn't just happen, it is something you do. It is something you, you make choices. You say, this now, not that. And all the while plugging into that which you cannot control. So there's, it's kind of like um, uh, steering a, uh, a ship, you know, like a, um, a sailboat. You know, you can't control the wind, but you can control your relationship to the wind. You can control how to use that, that moving insubstantiality that we call air to be able to make ship go fast. And um, so same thing with your, with your energy. You're not controlling the chi. The chi is, there's an infinite quality, an infinite uh, amount of chi around you all the time. There's, uh, uh, and that's a whole other conversation about how much potentiality is available, you know, in, in, in everything. It, there's, uh, you know, in, in quantum physics, they talk about there's more energy in a cubic centimeter of empty space than there is in all the, all the mass in the universe. And so there's this, in that insubstantiality of empty space, there is this substantiality that is huger than anything. So we have, we're swimming in this, this pool, this ocean of, of chi. So what we're learning to do is how to sail that, how, to, how to, to harness the wind of our chi and be able to move it in the direction that we want to take it. So I've been focusing for, for years now, primarily on developing that yang sense first. That's because people tend to be collapsed in their structure, collapsed in their energy. There's it's just the way way we grow up. It's it, there's a uh, very you know, a, a small mi minority of people have that intuitively, have that sense of expansiveness and 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 a structure which is is full and energy which is full. Most people it's it, there's it's it's tamped down, and uh, so. Le we learn 
first, at least what I'm teaching is first learning how to create a structure that supports your, your movements, that supports your activities. And that requires a young expansion to move out of the collapse and into a, an open um, and open, vibrant and uh, responsive structure that is able to go through life and, and not be as vulnerable to the um, effects of, 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 of life. You're, you're, you're moving so that you're, you're creating effects rather than, than being the receipt point of them. Not to say that you're not also receiving as well. And by creating a structure that you feel safe in, you open up to more incoming. If you're feeling very vulnerable, there's a tendency to want to push away life, to pump the brakes on life. And the more confident you feel in your structure, the better you are able to embrace the changes that occur good and bad, and just be able to kind of roll with the punches. So I've primarily been focusing on the on that expansiveness. And part of that has been, I've, I've talked about how you establish your central equilibrium, which creates that structure by bringing your, your awareness to the balls of your feet and centering over the balls of your feet. And what that does is it, it fills up the balloon, the tire, whatever. It just kind of, it creates that young expansiveness, which creates a structure, which then you can fiddle with it till you get the optimum relationship, your central equilibrium. So you get that optimal relationship of, of how you're moving, how you're holding yourself, you're relating to you know, heaven and earth and, and the world around you. And you're, oh, okay, got it. You know, you have that, you have that confidence that comes with that. Once you have that, then we can say, okay, now we're going to let go of stuff. And we're going to feel into the yin aspect, the receptive. You know, I, I know I'm, I'm as guilty as, as most people about, you know, teaching new students you know, from the perspective, oh, you got to learn to relax. You got to learn to relax. And, and a lot of people get hung up on that. And they, that becomes the datum that they're still focusing on decades into their training. But it's something you can't really relax comfortably unless you have a structure that you feel safe in. If you don't feel safe, then the minute you're provoked, the minute you're triggered by something, you go back into a, a, a condition which is not relaxed. So it, it, even if you're able to grasp it momentarily, it disappears at the first provocation. Whereas if you have a structure that you feel confident in, you have a bigger buffer there. You're able to say, okay, this whatever the challenge that life is presenting to me right now, I do not have to bat it back. I can let it in. I can say, hey, okay, life, what do you got for me? And then you start to be able to engage life a whole lot more comfortably, safely, enthusiastically, playfully, because you feel safe in your own skin. So we, we start off with that, getting that young expansion. And then, and then we say, okay, without releasing that, structure without releasing that center of equilibrium now let's ah let's shift gears and go into a yin state and this pulsing between the yin and yang is at the very essence of taiji Tran. so we and what we've been doing the last few weeks is introducing this other idea of also being able to go into the heels, but without losing your central equilibrium. So they're able to move into a receptive mode. And you can think of it also in terms of being and doing. 
the more yin aspect, the more, the more we're able to embrace the yin, we're moving more into being. Whenever we are extending outward, that's more into doing. And that pulsing between being and doing is, is the dance that we're, we're engaged in as humans. And being able to really appreciate that state of being and just really feel into that and be receptive is, is gold. Being able to consciously do is also gold. So it's a, and, and that relationship between the two, if you can learn to consciously shift back and forth, then you've taken your practice to a whole nother level. So let's, uh, before uh, we stand up and do something, let me see if there's any questions or comments, any clarifications needed? All that pretty clear? Pretty clear? Good. Okay, let's, uh, why don't you stand up and let's uh, play with this. So let's begin by establishing our central equilibrium. So we're gonna do that by feeling the balls of the feet. Your weight is spread throughout the whole foot, but your primary focus is on the balls of the feet, your knees are unlocked. So by doing this, we're accenting the yang aspect, we're filling up. reach for the crown of the head. So we're reaching up, lengthening the neck, opening up the jade pillow gate, tuck in the chin, and feel that stretch along your, along your neck as you sink into the earth, to the balls of your feet. And this opens up the energetic connection with the earth. So we're plugging into the big chi. Relax your lower back and drop your sacrum. Allow the pelvis to level out. Your, your lower back to relax and, and let go of any tension that might be there. Continue to feel yourself centering over the balls of your feet. Reach out with your elbows a little bit, just round it slightly, just enough to open up the shoulder joints. Point and reach with your index fingers. And feel your nails, the nails of your fingers, like as if they're claws. And feel the chi that is that is developing in your in your hands, your feet, throughout your body. Feel that feel that yang chi that is pumping up right now, and it's kind of a, an electrical kind of feeling. It uh, tingling, pulsing. And then push away with your feet and, and then spiral down, releasing the hip joints. So we're unkinking the hose in the, in the quad, we're unkinking the hose in the base of the skull, the, at the jade pillow gate. Unkinking the hose at the uh, shoulder joints by reaching out with the elbows. Feel the yang chi in your, in your hands. Your fingers are slightly rounded, almost as if you, you know, if you were to put your hand on your head. 
you know, the shape that you get there, that slightly rounded shape creates a, uh, a, a, an energetic connection there in your hands. Feeling those fingernails, those claws. Feel the, the palms of your hands and notice the, the Lao Gong points are getting quite frisky. So all this is Yang Chi works. We're, we're exploring that expansiveness. Now feel the heels of your feet and sink into your heels while maintaining your central equilibrium. And feel yourself sinking down, down, down into the heels, releasing and feel the qualitative difference in that energy in that state of being. Notice that that young excitement is calming down. And as we extend awareness through the heels into the earth, we go down to meet the earth, feel the energy dripping down. You can imagine that your body is the top half of the of an hourglass and your feet are the at the neck and the sand in the hourglass is dropping down through your feet and into the into the your your field below your feet into the earth feel that moving down Notice too that you're, um, you're not empty. That no matter how much you throw away, how much she you throw away, there's always more coming in. That's because you're reaching with the crown of the head and they, you're plugged into the chi of the heavens as well. So there's this constant movement downward as the yang chi moves down through your feet and into the earth. But the direction is down, so it's moving in a yin direction. Now let's go back to the balls of the feet. and feel the yin expansion. I mean, the yang expansion. Paradoxically, it is the yin chi coming up from the earth that is moving in a yang direction. So the yang is what we're talking about is the direction of the energy. It's moving up and out. Now back to the heels and let that go. This is great for grounding energy. It's for great for, for if you, particularly if you've had a very busy, hectic, stressful day and you want to let go of of chi which is kind of turbulent in your body mind you want to if your chi is non-coherent you say oh okay i'm going to 
dispose of it. I'm going to disappear the chi and move that in a, in a down direction. Now we're going to alternate between the yin and the yang here. So you get familiar with that process. Become something that you can have in have it uh, as an arrow in your quiver. So feel the balls of your feet. Reach with the wrists, reach with the elbows. And round your arms, reach with your elbows, open the shoulder joints. And feel your, your weight more toward the balls of your feet. And feel that yang expansion as you do that. Now, shift to your heels and let that go. Let that just flush through, emptying out into the earth, down, down, down. Feel the fullness of the yin chi. The direction is downward, but you're still very full of energy. It's not, the yin is not an absence of chi, it's just merely a different direction. And rotate the palms and sink down, press down, feel yourself sinking deeper, deeper into the earth. Now, now feel the density of your body. Now back to the balls of the feet, reach with the wrists, the elbows, the fingers coming up, rounding your arms, expanding. Feel the expansion as your, it's like your arms are being blown apart by this big balloon that you're holding. At the same time, you're pressing in on the balloon. So it's going both directions. You're reaching up at the crown and there's this sense of expansiveness. Everything is opening. Your body is getting lighter moving more and more toward insubstantiality. Very open and expansive. Reach with the elbows and open the shoulder joints. Feel everything is getting bigger. Now sink into your heels. Reach down with your elbows, down with your wrists. Your hands sink deeper, deeper, deeper. So pivot out on your left heel and step forward with your right foot. And feel the heel of your right foot. 
as you sink into the right leg, you push your knee out, set the knee, sink into the heel, loading up that left leg, feeling the yin there. And bring your arms up, reaching forward. Actually, go back down to the, to the yin here. So feel the ball of your foot now. And now reach with your wrists, your elbows, your fingers. Well, this is feel the yang energy here. Feel that you're reaching out forward. There's an extension, expansion. Now feel the heel of your left foot, your back foot, and sink into your left leg, releasing, sinking down. Your hands come up. And feel yourself pressing down. Very slowly, just feel it. Ah, just slowly coming down. So you're low, you're moving in this yin expression. You know, feel the ball, the heel of your front foot, your right foot. Push your knee out, set the knee, release the quad, sinking into the heel of your front leg. So we're, we're really committing to the yin. Everything is down, relax, you're loading. Now feel the ball of the foot and reach forward. Feel that young expression now. And you may recognize this, this is a, a one way of doing um, a push in a, in a young style Tai Chi form. It is an expression of on energy, which is watery energy. So what we're doing here is we're gonna feel the heel of the left foot, set the knee, release the qua, hands, are coming back, they're reaching down at the elbows, down with the hands. So the, the wave is coming down, sinking, yin, yin, yin. Very, feel that into that yin. So now into the right heel, yin, more yin, you're sinking into that. Feel that loading up. It's we're kind of trusting that all this yin is going to be productive, that we don't have to hold on to that yang chi in order to make this make something happen here. Because now the wave is oh, it's going the other direction. You have the ball of the right foot and reach out, and there is that expression. Left heel, sink into your left claw, your left leg, and sink. Hands come down. Feel that pressing down, like you're pressing down a, a beach ball in the swimming pool. Sink into the right heel, sink into that. You're still pressing down, and now feel the ball of the right foot and ah, reach out. That beach ball, you're letting it go and it shoots out explosively. Left heel, sink, yin, yin, yin. Right heel, yin. It's like you're 
you're loading up here and then ball of the right foot, young express. Step back with your right foot, turn the, turn the foot out. Feel the heel of the right foot, spiral down, sink in, and step forward. Notice that we're doing this differently than we have in the past. We're, we're adding this whole other dimension to our tragedy form now. We're still maintaining our central equilibrium. And, but we're playing with yin and yang within that. So now feel the heel of the left foot, push your left knee forward, set that. Feel the ball of the left foot and reach. Feel that yang expansion. Notice it's a little different here on the left side. It just, it's the energy is a little different. And we don't have to explain what that is. We just, just feel it. Feel the heel of the right foot, set the right knee and sink into the right leg. Hands come back and press down, reaching down with the elbows, down with the wrists. Feel that compression, that down. It's almost like you can't, you can't lift your hands right now. They're so heavy. They're being pulled down by this undertow, the wave. They feel the heel of the left foot, you push the left knee forward and you sink into the left leg. Feel the density of your body, feel everything down, very yin. And now feel the ball of the right foot and oh, we're flipping the switch. And whoa, the expanding energy comes through and ah, we reach out. And feel that expansion, feel the lightness. Contrast that to the heaviness we felt a moment ago. Feel that expansiveness. That Now feel the heel of the right foot. Reach down with the elbows, sink into the right leg, press down. Feel the density. Feel the heaviness, the yin. The left, left heel sink into the left leg. Feel that density. Feel the feel that loading up. Feel the ball of the left foot and open the yang, the, the energy gates, open the yang chi, feel that expansion. Right heel. Knee, qua, elbows, wrist, sink, yin. Left heel, yin. Left ball, yang. Right heel, yin. Left heel, yin. Left ball, young. Step up. Feel that young. Balls of both feet, feel that young. Feel that expansion. Now back into the heels and feel the in. Back into the balls, feel the young. Back into the heels, feel the yin.
Now go halfway between the balls and the heels. Almost like your feet disappear. And just feel into the potentiality of both, both the yang and the yin. Get that feeling of, of either or both. The infinite possibilities of expression of yin and yang. Having that experience, your body mind knows what to do with it. More importantly, your eye of spirit knows what to do with it. And recognize that the possibilities that are inherent within that yin yang expression. Bring the hands down, sink. Into the heels, into the yin. Letting go, letting go of your thoughts, letting go of your body, letting go of your chi, attaching to nothing. Just feel into your being, just that condition of being. Sink into the right claw, step in. Feel the balls of the feet. Hands come up. Deep breath, expansion, expansion. Open, 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 yang, yang, yang. And then heels and yin, yin, yin. Disappear the chi. Just feel into that for a few moments. Feel into the insubstantiality of your form. Please have a seat. Rick. I feel like I just paid you to beat me up for an hour. <laughs> Who that, knew the relaxation was so difficult? <laughs> It wasn't relaxation. My body's reaction to the mixing, part of the time it was, it was the beautiful, uh, cool water. Then it was air being pumped in, going up through the body. But then in the last section, especially when I concentrated on the left heel, it was electricity going through a cycle through the arms and the back. And I had to keep strongly recommending to all that energy, heal, heal, heal. Because I, I, I was right on the edge there of feeling that if I wasn't careful, I was going to hurt myself. Wow. And that was not a good idea. So I kept saying, repair, regenerate, heal. Uh, in, uh, yeah, every, every week something spectacular. Oh. 
Oh, man. Mm. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. My, my feet, my toes are still kind of like, too. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, that was quite a bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. wow. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. <laughs> I think, I think I'll let you know. <laughs> you let me know, okay. <laughs> call 911 if any, <laughs> anything serious happens. <laughs> then call me. <laughs> it's a deal. <sighs> Anybody else? Scott? Well, word, word, words are hard right now, but... Um... Ooh. Um, so I that's the way that's the way you kind of taught me push so that's kind of the way I do it you know and I've actually been feeling that energy but I mean that was a that was an adult sized dose of that. oh yeah um and yeah I don't I don't never the energy in my body is besides being big it's just I guess balanced is the best word. Nice. It's not one or the other so much as just big. And at the end, um, I've never had this before. I didn't feel the heat in my hands. It was like my hands were in one of them blow dryers in the bathroom. It was the, the heat was around the outside of my hands. It was really <laughs> weird. <laughs> I've never felt that before. But yeah, that was uh, whoa. Thank you. That's good. Good. Good feedback, <laughs> Jonas. You're on mute, Jonas. You're on mute, Stan. I think I think I have a lot of unkinking the hose work to do in order to feel this stuff more strongly. But I did have a lot of moments of intimations that were along the lines of what you said. I felt it more coming onto the heels. I felt that transition coming back onto the heels more vividly. And then the balance point at the end when the feet disappeared was, was an intimation of something really interesting. Uh, you know, and feeling the potentiality from some knowledge of both the yin and yang. Um, that yeah, it was all sort of intimations, like, am I really feeling it? Is it, you know, uh, but, but um, I think, you know, a lot of, um, a lot to work with. And a reminder, I have a lot of, you know, basic unkinking the hose work to do, uh, you know, I think. Uh, so very good. Great, good. Well, being able to, to go from yin to yang like this, it will help will only help you in your unkinking, you know, and you start to, you notice, you notice more where the, where the blockages are. And then you say, okay, you get in a conversation with them and you say, are you ready to go yet? Lower back. Are you ready to go yet? Nick. Nick no, yeah, Nick. So <laughs> yeah it's say, true. I was, I was aware of a lot more, was a lot, much more aware of points of tension or, or, de you know, sort of not flowing kind of thing so that, that, yeah useful good valerina well um i kind of started preparing for this class last saturday just a couple of days ago um i had a very deep tissue massage which beat the stuffing out of me so much so that i made it an appointment and just came home from the chiropractor, you know, about an hour before class, and he beat the stuffing out of me. So there was no yang left. <laughs> uh, no stuffing. Um, being in the heels last week, like I, I joked, you know, about it, sacrilegious, you know, being in the heels. No, no. Um, it was very easy this time and i appreciated more when we had the feet you know by side by side versus 
and, and I got the idea. I understood the idea of the on. Um, but I couldn't quite get that young, real young feeling. And I just wasn't pushing for it. I wasn't, you know, come on, come on, feel this. I was just so yin that it was just very easy to stay there. Um, and that was just doing the on. But when the feet were side by side, I was able to switch from yin to yang um, rather easily. I actually kind of surprised myself. I didn't feel as strong a yang as I normally would. Um, but like I said, that's because the stuffing was all <laughs> on the floor somewhere. Um, but uh, yeah. Lots I'd like to also comment that it may be because you're probably doing it right. Okay. Because, you know, particularly in, at that point in our, our exercise, you know, we, the energy was so insubstantial, you know, that a lot of your ordinary markers for Yang Chi, you know, have dissolved. Ah, and, cool. and so, and I, I mentioned, you know, you have to kind of take it as a leap of faith here that, that all this yin is going to produce a yang, you know, because it's, you don't have in that, once you get up to that level of, uh, of expression, it, it doesn't have the same substantiality that, that it, even in the earlier parts of the exercise, where we're feeling, you know, feeling that, you know, feeling the electricity. It's like, now it's like, oh, no, no. When you get to that point where it just disappears, you know, uh, you know, it's either not there in the first place, or you got a really high level of it. And they they both look kind of the same. Only only one is, you know, that gets the job done. So it's very likely that you know you're, because I felt that too. I felt like, oh, okay, it's you know, it just. It's just moving through. That wave is moving through me rather than getting stuck in anywhere along the way. I, I'll go with that. I'll okay. go with that. Um, getting into the position of feeling the uh, potentiality, um, that, was, that was really cool. That was um, remarkable. It was. It was... Uh, Definitely, I was there being able to feel I could go either way here, you know. Beautiful. So, thank you. You bet. So, we're cultivating the eye of spirit there, we're developing that sensitivity, and it feels it's, it's kind of the same thing there with it, with it, with it, in the push, you know, that expression. It's you have to go to the eye of spirit to be able to, to detect anything. Because the it's no longer um, pronounced as a physical phenomenon. You've moved, you know, we you move to a whole different way of expressing your energy, moving more into energy as an insubstantiality, which then is uh, much more powerful than you know the denser forms. Jonas. Uh, well, this is maybe a question for when there's more time, but uh, the point at which you said sort of paradoxically, the yin energy from the earth is moving in an upward, a yang, yang direction. It left me kind of wanting to clarify, you know, the meanings of yin and yang, meaning quality of energy, direction of movement, quality associated with the direction of movement, different meaning in different contexts so and, yeah people have been doing that for thousands of years so it's uh it's, <laughs> it is a longer conversation because <laughs> it's a you know in in that case in that specific case we're talking about the yin chi of the earth is moving upward the yang chi of the heavens is moving downward so the direction down is yin even though the chi is yang so it's it's that paradox there that you know the yin is moving in a yang direction because it's moving up. So it's one always has to clarify what one is comparing when what 
when one is talking yin and yang. It's always, always a term of comparison. Similarly, insubstantial and substantial, it's how much stuff, how much non-stuff, you know, in, in anything. Is it trend, trending more toward no stuff, non-being? Is it trending toward being? And that is a constant conversation that Tao is happen, happening, having with your, uh, you know, with, with all things. And it's only from your perspective in the particular moment that any of this stuff makes any sense. Any of these labels make any sense at all. It's like, yeah, we're just talking about a statement of relationship now, and then let it go, because everything changed. As soon as, you had that, as soon as you had that thought, everything changed. So don't get, don't get, don't get hung up on it. Just move on. It's a useful tool, but but little else. Scott, you had something? Oh uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that now listening to you and Valerie, I, that was was kind of the same way for me that the young wasn't as young. There was it was there was powerful, you know, there was something there and it was powerful, but it wasn't as didn't feel as young as it normally does. Right. It's a it's a but that's also a tribute to your your cultivation of your eye of spirit you know right. that you are that you're able to perceive things that were not possible let's say a year ago right. you know that's that's kind of cool you know it's yeah. like old dogs new tricks okay sign yeah. me up you know <laughs> yeah this is cool. yeah um that's the other thing i wanted to say was that yeah um the you know this was really really clear as to where the yin and the yang and the where they were right. changing and everything else it was i mean it was so obviously felt and noticed it was very cool uh i i know there's a, at different points on my journey where i would have sold the farm for that knowledge you know that it just it just like you know it's like I was wandering in the wasteland and and had no no clue what was going on there and, and I was like no no I it, I would give you a million dollars if you can tell me this secret you know and here it is it's <laughs> we're, we got it okay moving on what's next <laughs> what can we spend a million dollars on next you know <laughs> okay kids it's been a whole bunch of fun thank you Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>